Hey there, Kaylin here, and welcome to another video in the Too Many Cards series that Emily Leapart and I have created. Today, we're using the Gerder Steiner Designs stamps and dies. We're using the On the Bookshelf stamp set and the dies that coordinate with it. The stamp set features some really cute cats, a little mouse, and um, other things you would include on a bookshelf, as well as a stamp to make your own bookshelf. It's a really cute, versatile stamp set that you can kind of build your own scene and just make it something very custom to the recipient. So for now, I'm just stamping all of the images that I know I'll want to include on my bookshelf, and I'm doing that using Black Soot Distress Ink from Tim Holtz, and I'm just stamping that down on a piece of cream cardstock. And after that, I'm going to die cut all of these pieces out, and then I'm going to be doing some Copic marker coloring. Each stamp comes with its own coordinating die in the die set, and that one is sold separately, but it comes with this really handy magnetic sheet, so it makes them easy to store and you don't lose them. Now that I've got all my pieces die cut out, I'm just going to take my Copic markers and do some coloring. So I colored the first sleeping cat orange and then decided to color the second cat just a variety of warm gray colors. I sped up this section quite a bit just because Copic coloring, while it's not really difficult and doesn't take super long, it can be long when you're watching it on a video. So basically my method with Copics is I do the lightest shade first, fill in some shadows with a darker version of that color, and then go back over it with the first color to blend it out. And I always like adding a little bit of pink for if I'm doing characters or people, just to add a little bit of rosiness to their cheeks. I just find that it's something subtle that really makes them come to life. The stamp set includes these three different stacks of books. So my technique here was just to take three or four um, Copic colors. So I did a red, an orange, and a bit of an orangey yellow, and then a green, and um, as well as a pink. So a few colors actually. But um, I just took a limited color palette and colored in each piece of the book with one of those colors. That way they all kind of coordinate and still look like they go together on the card and I don't have kind of a rainbow of too many colors. I have ones that sort of fit all in the same family. Now that all of my pieces are colored, I'm going to take the actual stamp in the set that creates the bookshelf shelves, and I'm going to uh, use my Misty for this because I want to line it up um, perfectly on my card base. So just taking that same black ink, and then as you can see, just lining it up directly below the first stamp, and then just repeating that one more time so I have a three-tiered bookshelf. 
now that my bookshelf is stamped on my card front, I'm again taking Copics, just a light brown color, and then I'm going in with a darker brown color and just doing some really simple strokes, just kind of uneven and um, freeform strokes just to make a wood grain look on this bookshelf. I really like this technique. It's super simple and just gives a little bit of character and texture to anything that you want to look like wood. So now I'm taking all of the individual stamped and die cut pieces that I colored and just kind of figuring out where on the bookshelf they'll all work. Like for example, the globe I knew was too tall to fit on one of the second or third shelves, so that had to go on top. And then I wanted the cats to be on separate shelves. So that kind of dictated where I was going to put different um, the different elements. And then I also knew I wanted to put a sentiment on one of the shelves, so that was going to force me to leave some room on that bottom left side of the bottom shelf. I wanted to use the enjoy your day sentiment on this card, but it was a little too long to fit in the space that I had allotted. So I was just doing a bit of a masking technique using some washi tape to cover up the part of the sentiment that I don't want to stamp. So I'm going to stack the sentiment in two different um, lines. That way I have enough room. So first masking off the your day part of the sentiment and then just going to ink up the enjoy part, remove the washi tape and then stamp down that word enjoy and then the other pieces don't stamp. Now doing the same exact thing but opposite. So this time covering up the word enjoy with washi tape, inking up the your day part and then removing that washi tape and stamping down the your day part. Now I'm just taking some foam tape on the two cats that I know I want to pop up as well as the globe and then using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue to adhere down all of the other pieces straight to the card base. Once I'm done adhering everything down, this card is finished. I really hope you enjoyed this. I really had fun working with these images and coloring them. Be sure to watch Emily's video to see how she created projects using this stamp set and dies. And be sure to leave a comment below as well as give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.